YouTube, what is up? Now I got you for a brand new video. So in my last video, I was like, hey guys, look, I'm gonna be holding a QA. and a These are the questions that you guys have down below. And in this video, we're going to be answering those questions. So this is the That Guy C4 2000 subscriber special question and answer. Now we have a lot of great questions on this list. Shout out to everybody that left questions. And we're going to start. So here is the first question by Maverick Mega. And this goes, if you had your own stand, what would be his name and ability? He originally asked for my credit card info, but I can't tell you all that. But if you had your own stand, what would be his name and ability? Uh, if I had my own stand, its name would be probably like, well, its ability would have to be like fire and strength. It, like, it would have to be like really strong fire. And he would have to be like, 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 he, like you know, really strong. I'm not saying like some all might or Hulk level strong, but he have to be strong where it's like he can he he can do hand to hand combat really well. So fire and strength is really big. Uh, his name would have to be like Blue Fury, Red Fury, Blue Flame, something like that uh, along those lines of like strength and fire. Because, you know, if I'm like, Blue Flurry, oh, see, look, I messed up his name already. He can't be Blue Flurry. Has the, if, I'm like, if I'm like, Blue Flame, go! Like, you know, something like that. Or Blue Flame, stop him! Yo, it has to be something like that. Blue, or Red Fury, something like that. That would have to be his name. And like I said, Strength and Fire. And I know he didn't ask for his look, but he would have to kind of look like Incineroar, like, cause I it, like Incineroar and that name or that those powers, cause Incineroar has those powers. That name, oh man, he would have to look like Incineroar. He would have to, he would have to pull up, have to fight. That would be dope. But yeah, definitely those two. That would be the name and the powers. So, on to the next question. It is by the awesome one 520 It says, what are your top five anime slash manga? Have you read Berserk? Also, would you ever branch out to some other stuff like gameplay? And I'm gonna start from the bottom up because the first question is kind of hard for me. The first question was, would I ever branch out to other stuff like gameplay? And yeah, I've, I don't know, you know, I've, I've thought about it a few times, I think. You know what I'm just saying? Just, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. I'm just saying, just stay tuned. I got, I got big plans I'm thinking of every day for this channel. How we can grow and just keep going. So definitely, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna branch out a little bit. We're gonna branch out a little bit. Um, have I ever read Berserk? No. Uh, I plan on watching the, was it the 1997, 1998? And then if I really like it enough, I'll go read it. But off of that, no, I don't. I don't really right now plan on reading it because I read too much. Like I think I'm reading Attack on Titan, My Hero, One Piece, Black Clover. Uh, I'm about to start reading Doctor Stone. Well, no, nah, I probably won't because like I said, I already read four things, so I, I don't think I'm gonna read it. Uh, but no, nah, I definitely am gonna watch the 1997, 1998, one of those. I'm definitely gonna watch it though. And my top five anime slash manga. See, that's a hard one for me because my list always changes. Like, one day I'll like something a lot, and then the next day I won't. So, number one always on the list though will be One Piece. One Piece will always be on that list. It could be top five, top 10, top 20, whatever the top one, top two, top three. One Piece will always be on that list regardless. Cause I just love One Piece that much. One Piece is like really meaningful to me, really impactful to me. I really enjoyed it. Everything about One Piece was just so good. Like, like I just really love One Piece. I could talk about One Piece for hours, how much I love it, how much it means to me, all that beautiful stuff. Cause I really love One Piece a lot. So it definitely number one had to be One Piece. Next to that had to be Yu Hakusho. Uh, because I just enjoy Yusuke's journey, and Yu Yaka Show too has a, like a special place in my heart because, like, watching it when I was uh, like young, I really liked it because of the action, the style of fighting. But as I got older, you know, 
and watching it young, I'm not really paying attention to the story. Well, as I got older, I was like, you know, let me we watch it, let me see some of these episodes again. And when I really sat there and I watched these episodes again, I'm like, wow, like this is really good. So I like it for nostalgic purposes. I like it because it's like it's a reminder of my childhood. Uh, next one has to be Code, yeah, Code Geass. Code Geass is just dope. It's just amazing. I just love the story. Just love the characters. I feel like it had an amazing ending. I would not change the ending at all. Just Code Geass is just dope. Like it, it was just amazing. That's how much I loved it that much. And I know they got a new movie. I can't wait for that. Uh, hopefully they don't, you know, fuck up stuff. Cause I feel like I said Code Geass is ending on a good note. Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. That's what I'm saying. Uh, next would have to be Cowboy Bebop. Now a lot of you guys are probably like Cowboy Bebop, huh? No, Cowboy Bebop is too good. Like. That's an anime where I really sat there and thought about a lot of things. Like, watching that when I was a little kid, I was like, okay, like, whatever. But now re-watching it and seeing all this stuff and then looking up what certain things mean and seeing that it's very deep. Oh my goodness, what? That is just flames right there. Like, I was like, wow. That, like, I really enjoy Cowboy Bebop and the music of that jazz style and the characters, how they're like, you know, Spike is just really laid back. He's just a really cool, like, what's up? You know, I just really enjoyed um, Cowboy Bebop. I really loved it. And last on my list would have to be Goron Lagan. Um, and with Goron Lagan, too, something, I was on vacation. Toonami was on. This is like when Toonami had its resurgence. It had all this great anime on there. And they showed Goron Lagan. I think there was only episode 10 or 11. And I paid attention to the episode. I'm like, you know what? Let me go back and rewatch the episode. So I watched everything up until that point and finished it. And I was like, wow, like, yo, like, this is really good, you know? And I'm not the biggest fan of mech anime, too. But watching Goron Lagan, and even Code Geass, who had a lot of mechs in it. But like I said, like, watching those two. I was like, okay, like, I can start making an exception for mech anime. Like, I'll watch more mech anime because they're all on this level. Because, like, I'm like the story is just that good. But that had to be my top five. Code Geass, well, not Code Geass at the top, but One Piece, Yu Hakusho, Code Geass, Cowboy Bebop, and Chrono Lagan. So, uh, next, uh, that was that's just a long answer. I'm sorry if I if I overextended that. But next on my uh, question is from Aaron Smith, and it goes. What anime are you planning on watching in 2019? And I made a video, like I, I made one as soon as I dropped that. But anime I plan on watching in 2019, Mob Psycho, cause I have my list right here, I had to pull it up real quick. Mob Psycho, The Roger of the Shield Hero, Guru Roro, Promise Neverland, One Punch Man Season 2, Ka, Kenja no Mago, Dr. Stone, My Hero, Made in the Abyss if it drops, and Vinland Saga. And on top of that too, if more stuff come out, if um, more stuff drops, because I, I, you know, I wasn't expecting on watching Boogie Pop and others, but then I was like, okay, you know what? Let me watch it, check it out. Now, now I'm hooked. Now I gotta finish it. I never start stuff and leave it there. So if I start an anime this season, I'm most likely going to finish it. And my list is probably going to grow even more. Like you can add Boogie Pop to that list. I might watch that that WZ, the DJ anime. I might watch that. I know that's on High Dive exclusively. Uh, but uh, yeah, my list is probably gonna grow from what it is now. So I expect that to change. Stick around because I'm probably gonna review it on this. I'm probably gonna review more stuff on this channel as well. Uh, top five anime openings ever. And this is from K KMA Cool. Whew. Yeah, this is from KMA Cool. And his are July April opening one, Black Clover opening three, uh, Sword Art Authorization opening, Full Metal Alchemist opening one, and Bleach opening one. Uh, and top five OSTs. Okay, so my top five anime openings ever. Well, it's gonna be a hard one too. But here we go. First one is going to be Bluebird, Naruto Shippuden. I will listen to that song every day. Until the day I die, because that's how much I love it. Bluebird is my shit. You cannot tell me otherwise. All right. Number two would have to be opening 16, Naruto Shippuden. That is my shit too. I will listen to that every day if I have to. 
Uh, next would have to be Soul Eater. Yeah, Soul Eater opening two. Soul Eater opening two was Flames, Heat, Fuego. I loved it. That was like when I first heard that watching Soul Eater, I was like, this is this is this is beautiful right there. This is this is beauty right here. This is beauty. Alright, that opening is heat, flame, fuego. Now opening four, I have to agree with you on this one. KMA cool. Cause sort of authorization opening. Tsh That opening is too good. I love that opening so much. Like, that opening is, I'm telling, I told you guys, 2018, that was the opening of the year. Like, that opening is too good. Now, I know Sword Art is, is bleeding into 2019. I'm not going to put it up there because that did start in 2019. But, oh my goodness, that opening is too good. I love it so much. I love it. It's amazing. I, I that is a good ass opening. And my last one would have to be uh, what would my last one be? I gotta think about this for a second. What would my last one be? Uh, Code Geass opening one. That opening is too good. If I had to switch to Code Geass one on one, it would be the Yu Yu Show one. But I do like the Code Geass one a lot. Code Geass one is amazing, it's dope. But like I said, the Code Geass one is interchangeable with Yu Yu Hakusho's. And my top five OSTs, that's a hard one. Uh, all right, so there's two from My Hero that I like. I, I don't know their names, but there's two from My Hero that I like that are just really dope. I wish I knew their names. Uh, Yato's OST, Noragami, when he's about to lock up the phantoms that ost is when that crap comes on I'm, I'm at the edge of my seat like oh y'all talk about to turn up that ost is hard like i love that ost so y'all don't understand i love that ost a lot uh i don't know like i said i'm not really like a big ost person like if i had to choose if i had to choose another one i'd probably be the uh, what's it called Naruto? It's Strike Something. I don't know the exact name of it, but Strike Something. And it's like, that's when you tell like Naruto and all of them about to go ham because of that just starts playing. That OST is hard. And if I had to pick a fifth one, uh, I think the OST when Lelouch is, uh, is uses his Gias. Is an OST in, in code, is an OST in code Gias that I really like and I just cannot think of it. But now nah, that that Yato one has to be top of my list though. That and the two from my hero top of my list. But the other two, I, I, I'm not like I said, I'm not really into the OST like that. But like, I'll listen to them. But I'm not gonna remember their names. I'm not gonna like. It's just hard. It's just hard for me to like remember OSTs like that. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, do you ever plan on? This is my stalk. <laughs> Do you ever plan on doing anime live reactions or not because of copyright issues? And have you seen the new uh, Boogie Pop or Shield anime yet? Well, I don't know why I read it like that. I can read. Yeah, so do I ever plan on doing live reactions? Uh, I thought about this as well. I think about a lot of things. Like, I'm letting you, I'm letting you guys know right now, my brain works in a weird way. I think of like 500 things before I actually do the first thing. Like, so that, this is one thing that's crossed my mind at least 300 times because I do plan on, I do want to do live reactions, but in the sense of like having a timer right here, if you guys hear something coming down the stairs, it's my dog, but hey Tyson, <laughs> that's my dog, but in the sense of like um, having a timer right here and me like, you know, just starting it and I guess me listening to it in the time we're going, I guess in the sense of us watching it together and that being like sort of like a live reaction because it just my luck, I'll be the one to, to put the clip, to put the whole episode right here, piece it up to where the episode is only like in reality only five minutes long and then I'll be hit with a copyright strike and then I'll be, 
because I'd be having bad luck. So yeah, I'll probably do that. If, if I do, I'll probably do the timer, be listening to my headphones and you know, we all watch it together in a sense and then I'll give them my live reaction like that. And yeah, I've seen Buggy Pop and the Shield anime. Yeah, I dropped a review of the Shield anime on my channel. Like, <laughs> like literally today when this question was asked. And Buggy Pop, yeah, Buggy Pop is weird to me. I don't know, Buggy Pop is just really weird. But mm, it's all right. Uh, the next one comes from One Joker, and it asks, he asks, uh, what is your name and how old are you? Gosh, y'all want to know my name like that? That has four likes. What has the most likes on here? That has the second most likes. <laughs> oh, no, well, it's tied. Uh, all right, so my name is Chris, and I'm 22 years old. <laughs> uh... Seven Evil Arts X, your top three saddest anime character deaths. Oh my gosh, why you gotta make me cry? Why you gotta do this to me? <laughs> why you gotta do this to me? My top three saddest anime character deaths. Number one, Ace. Um, watching it, like watching that and watching Luffy's reaction was just sad. Uh, like, and the thing is that when I was watching One Piece, I knew Ace's death was coming. I knew how he died, but when you really sit there and you watch it and you see Luffy's reacting to it, oh man, like just thinking about it now, that's like really sad. And yo, even though you don't see Ace grow, you know, you just see Ace for that first arc, just thinking about what he would have became, just thinking about the people around him, how much these people really cared about him, it's like, damn, like, it's kind of sad. But yeah, Ace's death is definitely Definitely, definitely, definitely sad to me. Next would have to be Jiraiya. Jiraiya's death was sad because, you know, the student kills the master, and even on top of that, too, him leaving, Tsunade was like, you know, I, like Tsunade knew he wasn't coming back. And him going out the way he went out, oh, that was sad. Yeah, that was sad. Damn. I would say Itachi, because Itachi's my boy, but Itachi's death was not on the level of Ace and not on the level of Jiraiya, so that was sad. And number three would have to be Koro Sensei from Assassination Classroom. My heart is over here, what am I doing? <laughs> but, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was sad. That was so, I don't even want to talk about it because it was that sad. Like, that was sad as heck. Oh my goodness, that was sad. Me watching that, I'm like, bruh, bruh, what? That was sad, yo. That was sad. We're going to the next question. I don't like you crying. Uh, Seven Evil Arts asks another question. Says, what, or not what, best shonen show? So I'm like, you, me and you, your your profile picture is the Jolly Roger, One Piece. I'm gonna say One Piece. I love One Piece. Come on now, that's a bad. I'll, yeah, I'll live and die by One Piece. What? Love One Piece. And the last question about some of you are goes Code Geass or Death Note? Oh, that's a hard one. Mm, um, I'll have to say Code Geass. Uh, now if I have the powers of the Geass, I'll be cool living in that world having the powers of the Geass, but if I don't have the powers of the Geass, no, throw me in Death Note. I'm a nice boy, I just make YouTube videos and, and go to work, watch anime, no, I'm cool. But if I have the powers of the Geass, yeah, throw, throw me in there, throw me in that world. But, uh, <laughs> I think his question though was, is, what do I prefer, Code Geass or Death Note? And i just turn that into my own question. If I had to prefer one, it would have to be Code Geass, though. I just like how Code Geass was set up. I just like how it went. I just liked how it, it flowed, how the story was told. I just think Code Geass was amazing. It was dope. Like I said, that's why it's on my top five list because of, of all that stuff about it. Like, I really like Death Note, too. But it's just stuff about Death Note that has really, like, bothered me. It's stuff about Death Note that's really, like, eh, we have to do that. Come on now. But 
Nah, I would definitely have to pick Code Geass. And if I had to live in one of the worlds, it had to be Code Geass, depending on how, how it's gonna go. So either way, I pick Code Geass all the way. I just flipped several. I just flipped the question into my own question. What is wrong with me? Gosh, I'm out here being conceited. I need to stop. Uh, and Hugo asks, how many times did you clap your hands on this video? I don't know if he's talking about the question and answer video or this video, but I think I clapped my hands like three or four times in this video. I just like to talk with my hands, I'm sorry. Um, and Raina's Battle Cry comes with the last question, and it goes, your first anime, when did you first watch? Uh, my first anime, I'm thinking about it. My first anime, if I want to be technical, it would be Pokemon. If I want to be technical, yeah, it would be Pokemon. I grew up on Pokemon. Because technically, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, if I want to be technical, I grew up on Pokemon. I love Pokemon. I, I live and die by Pokemon. It's not my favorite anime now, but the games I really love. Like, Pokemon is dope. Uh, but if I'm, if I'm taking Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all that stuff out of it, the, the first anime I have to... The first anime that I watched though was Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, like that, like that, and yeah, it had to be like Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Sailor Moon, Baroni Kenshin, Cowboy Bebop, Inuyasha, like that's like in like the first watch stuff because of Adult Swim, because of Toonami, because if you guys know, you know, and a lot of people that are around my age, probably their favorite, their first anime will probably be Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! And, and then if they're taking that out of it, it would probably be Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball. And it's because Toonami and their heyday of having all this great anime on there when they had Baroni Kenshin, when they had Dragon Ball Z, when they had uh, Mobile Suit G Gundam, like, that, like, that was the spot to watch anime. And I remember being, like, maybe, like, Five, six, seven, going on tsunami on Saturdays and being like, oh, like what is all this amazing stuff? Like, so I had to be around five, six, seven when I first started watching anime. Uh, but if I'm taking this question a little bit deeper, when I really started paying attention to anime, probably when I was like around 12, 13, because then I started getting more friends that really liked anime because. Look, anime didn't start becoming like kind of cool till now. Cause I remember being young, and if you liked anime, you couldn't talk about it like that. So, yeah, probably around that age is when I like started like really paying attention to the story. Like I remember going to <laughs> this story time real quick. Uh, like like this is when I really started paying attention. Cause I paid attention to Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, cause I was interested in that stuff, and I rewatched it. Yo, when I was 12 and 13, I rewatched it. I'll never forget. I went to the uh, the eighth grade dance, right? This is when I started paying attention to Naruto Shippuden, cause I was in I was in the sixth grade when Naruto Shippuden like first came out. So mind you, that's two years later or a year later, whatever. I'm in the eighth grade, eighth grade dance. Me and my friend, you know, we used to go to the library a lot and go and watch anime. He put me on to manga, so I started reading the uh, Naruto manga. Before I went to the 8th grade dance, I had read the most recent chapter of the Naruto manga. And I was such a... <laughs> I go up to him and I'm like, yo, did you see I told you guys? Naruto's mom? Or and I, I think, did I say that? Was that when Naruto's mom was... I think, I want to say that's when Naruto's mom was inside of him. But I think, I, I think, I think... If, if it wasn't that, it was when Naruto was training the, uh, you know what, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, I'm lying, it wasn't that, but I was like, it was when Naruto was training to be cool with the, the Nine Tails Five, and I was like, yo, did you guys just read that chapter of Naruto Shippuden? That shit was flames, and everybody looking at me like, yo, what is this guy talking about? What? It, that's but that's when I like around that age is when I started like really paying attention to it. So like, oh man, I just I just answered my see. I need to stop doing that. Let's answer the question. God, C4, what are you doing? But yeah, so maybe around like five or six is when I started, you know, watching anime and watching the Dragon Ball Z's, the Sailor Moon, the Dragon Ball, and all that stuff. And I watched it on Toonami. But when I started taking it serious and probably like really paying attention to the stories, probably. When I was like 12, 13, and 
yeah, all because of like the friends that I had at the time. Shout out to them, you know. I think I did a video with one of them. If you guys are fun, then you guys probably will. But yeah, def definitely, uh, definitely, 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 definitely. Um, I just got another comment, that's all I looked down. But definitely, yeah, like around that time is when I really started watching it and when I really started taking it serious. So, I'm gonna summarize it once again. Five or six, you know, Dragon Ball Z, all that good stuff. Toonami. 12, 13, start paying attention to the story, reading manga. All right, I think I answered the question. Gosh, that's like a trip down memory lane. I need more questions like this, I like this. I think I might do another Q&A when we get to like maybe like 3,000. Maybe when we're at like 2.5. I like doing Q&As. This is fun. He's a trip down memory lane. This is some good questions. I, I may not have answered them to the best of my ability, but I did answer them. You know, how I felt was best, if that makes sense. But look, guys, shout out to everybody that left, you know, a comment with questions. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully I did answer these to the best of my ability. Hopefully, you know, you guys learned more about me. Uh, yo, look, if you're watching this and you're like, damn, I should have asked him this, you should have asked, because I would have been, I would have answered way more questions, but it's okay, because I like the answers, I like the questions that were asked, I really do enjoy them, especially, uh, the top five anime ones, because that made me think, sad as deaths, uh, shonen, like, all these questions were great, great, great questions, but guys, thank you guys for asking the questions once again, look, I'm Nakazi4, and I'll see you guys in the rest of my videos, peace.